Hello everyone, it is Mr. Step Step, and we are back with another XY series set, Furious Fists. So, this is part of my value discussion series where I'll, I go over, you know, cards within this set, raw prices, graded, recently grade, graded sold prices. Uh, check down below if you want to go to the timestamps. I'm going to do a little intro like I always do on the on the spreadsheet itself, or and I'll also have a link down to the Google Sheet down below as well. So you have all that stuff at your disposal if you just go down in the description or you can just watch along and have some fun. All right, so starting out with some administrative data. This set was released August 12th, 2014. So, you know, six and some change years ago. Base card total 111, so a little bit more than Flash Fire. Secret Rare total two. Um, yeah, not very many Secret Rares. It, these are the days that I miss, like only two Secret Rares, very, not bad at all. With 113 set total. This spreadsheet is as of 14 March, so, you know, anything after today, technically this is out of date. Um, so the first column, we have the card is very self-explanatory. If it's red, that's the one I'm going to be talking about today. If it's italicized, that's one that I actually own in my collection. Rarity, very self-explanatory. Raw on TCG Player, this is the marketplace value on TCG Player rounded down to the nearest dollar. This is, you know, generally... You know, lightly played to, to near mint copy, but it can vary depending on the last, you know, sold, recently last sold listings. Grade, I try to find PSA 10, especially for some of these older cards. You know, CGC isn't as common as, say, with the modern cards. So I try to find PSA 10. If I can't find PSA 10, I get as close to that as I can. Um, sold price is the last sold price. Rounded up to the nearest dollar, not including shipping on eBay. And the data sale is that when that sale was made. Obviously, I can't confirm whether or not these were paid for. But if you see the exact same listing listed twice, then generally that first listing probably didn't go through. And then PSA 10 population, number on the left is the number of PSA 10s. The number on the right is the number totally registered with PSA. This is only PSA, not including any of the others, Beckett, or any of the other ones. So just keep that in mind. And then I have some color coordination over here based on the price that it is either graded or raw. So yeah. That's pretty much the whole explanation. Now we can get right into this set. I love XY so far. It's a lot smaller than the Sun and Moon series of sets. You know, a lot of these XY sets have had some time to kind of simmer. And yeah. Oh, and if you see any R's in parentheses, that's because it's the reverse hollow of that card. But yeah, I'm not going to be going over any of those today. But if you're just curious. All right, so first off, we have the Dragonite EX. Dragonite, always been a popular Pokemon, you know, since it first debuted in Fossil. And in team, and then eventually in Team Rocket, like in the anime, it was a mythical thing. Dragonite, I wouldn't say it's like high or even top tier. I would say it's a mid tier collectible Pokemon, maybe slightly above. Say like a Gyarados, it's Generation One. It's a dragon. It's that pseudo legendary status as far as statistics within the video games. So keep a lookout. PSA ten sold for two hundred and five, twenty five out of seventy eight. So do I think this card is amazing? No, but it's Dragonite, and there are, um. There are Dragonite collectors out there, similar to how you have a Charizard or Lugia or something like that. There are Dragonite collectors out there. Next, we have the Lucario EX. So, did this sell for anything amazing? No, $90 at a PSA 10, but it is the only card that I have, and I figured, hey, why not squeeze it in? This isn't a super massive set, so Lucario EX. Honestly, a lot of these just regular EX cards, I'm not impressed with the artworks most of the time. I'm more impressed by the, the Full Arts in the XY series of sets. I think those have a lot more character. The regular EXs and even some of the Mega EXs, they just, they're just kind of bleh. Battle Reporter Full Art. $500 in a PSA 10. There are only six PSA 10s out of 38 graded. So funny enough, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of Primetime Pokemon. He was one of the OG, OG, like, PokeTubers that would post card openings. You know, you could argue he's... Pretty dry and simple, but I, th I think a lot of people appreciated that consistency in his channel. And I watched one of his cards by mail where, like, somebody sends him a collection. And, sorry, that was a completely different video. I watched two of his videos. The first video I watched, he opened up a Charizard tin. It had a Furious Fist pack, and he pulled this one in the first pack. And, yeah, I didn't even know this card existed. I'm going to be honest. But $500. We have Mega Lucario EX. Um, $103, so nothing too crazy. This is the most graded card within this set. I think it's the happy medium. If you want to wrap this set up all in one, you could just call this the, the Lucario and Heracross set, or the, the fighting set. Lucario and Heracross set with a sprinkle of 
Dragonite and some decent full arts, you know? Uh, that's what I would summarize this set as. Uh, Fossil Researcher Full Art, $850. Okay, so here's the deal. There's three out of 40, graded to 10. Now, in case you weren't aware, there are people out there that want the full PSA 10 sets of, like, all sets. Like, you know, ultra rares and higher. Obviously, they're not getting PSA 10s of common cards, but unless it's, like, base set or something. But there, there's somebody out there that really wanted this card. It was sold recently, or not super recently, but December, $850. You know what? Maybe maybe dig in your dig in your boxes. See if you see if you got one of these full arts. Who knows? Maybe and maybe it's in tank condition. I, I imagine a lot of these full arts from the X and Y era are uh, pretty hard to grade in a ten. Pretty hard to grade. I mean, that three out of four ratio, three out of forty ratio is not not too hot. We got Mega Heracross EX Secret Rare. In my opinion, these ones are a little bit easier to differentiate with like the gold sort of outline. Three hundred dollars in a PSA ten. Twenty six tens. Out of 118. Not bad. Mega Lucario EX Seeker Rare. I was thinking this was going to be the number one card in the set. Oh, how naive am I? PSA 10, $455. 35 PSA 10s. Wow, look at that. Almost three dozen out of 100. Not bad. Dragonite EX Full Art. I think this is a really good looking card. I think the Evolutions Dragonite Full Art's a little bit better. But this one's not bad. A 9 sold for 91. Now, normally you'd be like, why are you even talking about this card? If a 9 sold for 91, and there's only 19 10s, I imagine a 10 would probably sell for a pretty penny, especially for that Dragonite Hunter out there. We have the Corinna Full Art. Piece of 10, $500. Now, I know you guys are used to that Corinna that just came out in Battle Styles. I like the Battle Styles one more. This one's... Mm, this one I'm not going to, like, see through glass and be like, oh, wow, that card is... Mm, mm, mm. I see it, I'm just like, oh, XY Full Art, whatever. It's, I mean, $500 still, only 7 PSA 10s, very low population. If you're just going for rare, low-populated cards, you know, F Furious Fist Full Art Trainers, that's where you want to be. And then Lucario EX Full Art. This is actually my favorite card within the set. I'm not even a big Lucario fan. I know it's super huge in Japan, and, you know, Lucario's pretty cool in Smash Brothers, all that stuff. But PSA 9 Silver 120, only 13 PSA 10s. I imagine this card in 10 would go for a pretty penny as well, probably... If I had to guess, at least three, four, maybe five hundred dollars in a PSA ten. But yeah, it's the most expensive card in this set raw, but it is not the most expensive card, at least recently sold graded, and it's not even the most graded. So yeah, that's pretty much this set. Very, very simple. Well, I'll go through to some tidbits at the bottom. So I feel bad because these card, these sets are so small. So like the averages are weighted so heavily. You know, either to the left or to the right. So you have like average EX is eighty five. Ooh, nine, nine, not bad. Keep in mind, none of the nines I included in these averages, so take that what you will. Full art, $617, bruh. Yeah, that $850 helps out a lot. And then average for secret rares, this one I actually don't mind reporting because there's only two secret rares, and this is the average between them, so that's not bad. And Furious Fist actually ties with Flash Fire in the number of cards over a dollar. Look at that. Now we have some even more interesting tidbits. We have a master set that recently sold for $265. Okay, okay. If you just want this full set, just buy the master set. Hopefully somebody's selling it. I mean, it sold 8 February. Like, just buy it. Like, I get people want the sealed product and all that stuff, but Elite Trainer Box, $2,650. Now, this is an elusive Elite Trainer Box. Recently sold 11 March. I don't even think there's one currently listed on eBay. Maybe there is, but... Yeah. When the Elite Trainer Box is more than the Booster Box, like, you know it's something special. Booster Pack, only $9. You know, you would you would find these these packs and collection boxes and stuff. That's why I have a few. I think I opened one or two packs. It, or I have one or two packs worth in my in my binder. So, 9 bucks, not bad. And then the Booster Box sold for 1200 Not too bad, not too bad. And it sold recently. So, hey, you got a Furious Fizz Booster Box. You're, you're sitting pretty nice. Because I imagine there was a time when... There was way too many of these, and they were probably selling for, you know, $90 or less. All right, we'll go into a quick tier list. This set isn't too deep. So um, low tier, we have the Mega Lucario EX, just the regular one. For mid tier, we have the Mega Heracross Secret Rare, the Lucario EX Full Art, as well as the Dragonite Full Art. So decent mid tiers going on there. And then the top, I pretty much included all the, the trainer full arts. What, what do you know? The Fossil Researcher, the Battle Reporter, Corinna. 
and then the Mega Lucario Secret Rare. So, yeah, is this set super amazing? No, but you got you got some low population cards in here. So, I mean, maybe keep a lookout if you're interested in you know these Pokemon. Then this might be the set for you. Not my favorite set, but hey, well we'll see what else X Y has to offer. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. Hopefully, quicker value discussion video. Um, if this is your second video of mine, consider subscribing. If you like what you heard and saw, then leave a like down below. If you don't like what you heard or saw, leave a dislike or leave some. give me some feedback down below to see what I can improve. And yeah, once again, links to everything down below. And I wish you guys a great... I guess this would be posting on Wednesday. I wish you guys a great rest of your week since it is hump day. Thank you.